Hello, today I'm here with a new video and if you don't know who I am, my name is Lisa and I do a lot of makeup related content here on my channel and I'm also a cruelty free YouTuber. And today I am having my second day in my lethal week. I can leave my first part up here if you want to see it. I am going to play with my lethal shades this month, no, this week, month, this week. So all the shades that I bought as singles, I've put them in a C palette. The video that came up before this, I used five shades and I took four of them out because I also used this shade as an inner corner highlight, so I thought it might be good to still have it in. So right now I have four, 30 shades in my C palette and I am going, <laughs> and Jesus Christ, right now I have 30 colors left. So I am going to random.org and we are going to get five of these and then I'm going to do a makeup look with them. So I think we just get started. And I'm going to put the ones that I get in this one and I don't know if I want to do it because I'm always so afraid that I can't remember five digits in a row. So I think we're just going to generate and I hope that you can see. So first up, 13. 13 and 30. 14. 2. And 19. So first 13. And I guess it's this one. So, okay. How am, I, how am I going to do this, like, in a easy way? I don't know. Okay, so what was it? 13, 30, 12, 2, and 19, if I'm not mistaken. Okay, so I got this little color story. So I'm going to write the shades down in the description because I don't know what these are called now and I didn't check before I put them in. So this is my little color story for today and I think I will use this as an inner corner highlight but the rest of them I actually got new no freaking clue or maybe I actually do. So I will prime my eyes get you a little bit closer and then I'm going to see if I can make this into a look. I will start with the yellow shade and I think I want to take this on my whole lid or my in my whole crease. Okay, I actually think what I want to do now. So I'm going to take this in my whole crease and I hope that this is not too crazy of a color. So I will just in my whole crease and note that is this is not such a crazy color and now I might doubting my decision that I just came up with but I think I will try to do it at least and I can write down here the names of the shades when I'm using them as well sorry future me <laughs> But I can do that. So for my lid, I want to do a halo eye. And I'm going to use the black one and this green shimmer as my halo. Am I a little bit afraid? Yes, I am. But I will try this. I don't think I've used this black one. So I don't know how pigmented this is. Probably quite a lot. Okay, I think I've used this once actually. So I'm going out here. I'm going to blend it a little bit up to my crease. Okay, this was like a little more of a buildable black. I'm kind of thankful for that right now. Okay, 
Then I take it in my inner corner. And I, okay, I actually doubt this look right now. We will see how it will work. But something like that, and I'm going to try to have it kind of equal on this side. And this is like impossible for me. If I'm going to do the things that I plan with this look, it feels like a lot is going to go on. I guess it has to be like that today. So I'm going to go in with this one in this halo. And I really, really hope that this will work. This shade I have used before. But I like don't remember how it looks. This looks kind of okay, maybe. I don't know how this green will go together with my crease shade. But the green and yellow usually isn't a problem. And it's not always that I take a crease shade when I do my halo, and especially not like another shade then. I have on my lid, but today, today I do it. And do you know what? I think this is a good combo, actually. I think I don't want to go in with the black just a little bit more. And why did I put the brush back? Win with a black and just blend it a little bit into the green. And also in here. And up here. Okay. Do you know what? I think this actually look pretty cool. I'm though second guessing my choices because <laughs> I have this shade left and the thing I thought of I don't think it's going to be any good maybe I can fix it the other way around yeah I think I can I think I can make it work so if I think this turned out better than I thought it was going to do so I will take away the fallouts, fix my base and my brows, and then I come back and we do the under eyes. So to try to finish this off, I will start with the yellow on my lower lash, and then I think I actually will try to go in with this green. I think it will work, and then take the black, and then we're going into the two lost shades that I haven't used yet. Don't worry, I'm going to, I think, I'm going to make this. Well, maybe it's enough if I take just the black on this yellow. I think actually that will do. So, and then I pop the black just a little bit. So the last two shades, these two, I will take them in my inner corner. So I will start with this one, the matte one, and then I will go in with this shimmer on top. And I really hope that this not will look too odd. And I actually like to take a matte shade in my inner corner. It's not... I don't do it that often, but like when I do, I remember how cool it actually looks and for the shimmer I will just take my pinky it's nothing on this I hope and just put it on top of the blue one I don't know how much this will show but you know what it's on there and that is all that counts okay I think it shows just a little bit so for my waterline I am going to take This one. Yes. 
my full my waterline I'm going to take Prance from Colourpop this is just like a light baby blue or maybe I should take another pen actually maybe I should take this one from NYX in love I think I will take no I will take Prance I will take Prance I think this connects like the inner corner to the rest of my eyes so I will put on my mascara and also choose a lip for this look and then it's done so for my lips I took uh, bullet lipstick from lethal this is virtue and I think it <laughs> looks good so for my look I did use these shades and I actually like this look I like that I because my first thought was taking this on my lower lash but I'm happy that I took it in my inner corner I think it looks good and I like this halo it's not like a super strong halo if you get what I mean it's not that much of a difference between the shades but I love to do these kinds of halos as well and my hair is a little bit annoying for me today that is all for this look it was so fun to do like a palette bingo or a singles bingo I don't know what to call it but these shades except for this light one will go out of this palette because I don't want to use them I'm going to try to not use the same shade more than once except for the lighter shimmers because I might want to use them as an inner corner highlight so yeah, I really hope you liked this video and if you're not subscribing to my channel, please do so you don't miss any of my videos and I hope I'll see you in the next one. Bye!